So I'm going to turn this little box that I bought at Home Depot into a 205 amp hour solar generator. Um, as you can see, it's just a plain old little toolbox that you could buy. And I got it because of this so I can make it portable to fit the two large 105 amp hour batteries. I'm going to, I made this wood little frame, it's two inches high, it's going to raise up the batteries. And then I sprayed plastic dip on them, that way it will keep the batteries stuck to it from sliding. And then I'm going to build a reinforcement in there. Now I have my batteries raised. And now this side will be where my inverter and uh, all the other electronics that will go in fuses everything okay so I'm starting to get everything ready with my project here um, for wiring and uh, mounting all the displays and the meter and the, the solar charger um, I already went ahead and I made a hole for the the outtake fan and then I made an intake fan right here so it's circulating air uh, this part's not pretty, but it's it's nice. What happened was, it's kind of like this. I don't know if you can see it, but I cut it off right here, and then I turned it backwards, so it's kind of waterproof on the top, and it blows air down here. Um, and then here, it, this is on the lip. I mean, I'm not trying to make this waterproof, but if it starts raining and it's outside, at least like it could stain a little bit of water over here I got my display I painted it red and now I'm gonna I already cut all the holes where all the stuff's gonna go okay so I have all the major wiring done it just needs to be wired into the battery and the inverter needs to be wired into all my controls right here um, give over a, a brief little explanation of what I'm doing um, so here is all the main wirings. I just got to, the router will go into this one right down here. Or router, uh, inverter will go down in this one right here. Um, I have my outtake fan right there and an intake fan right there. So those two will get wired in before I put it in. Um, I have my main positive that goes into a breaker but then goes into the main switch right here okay so explain a little bit of the components this is going to be my meter I still got a vacuum off of it I had to cut out some plastic right here to get it to close flush but um, this is my solar charger I have a 20 amp fuse this is for the fan over here which I kind of wish I did something different over here but over here is going to give me power to the, the solar panel and as you can see this turns on I can see that my batteries right now are at 12.5 so over here this is my key to turn on the whole system it's a 300 amp uh, switch more than enough but I put in this key and then I can turn it on and nothing will happen because my breaker this is uh, just a little safety right here. I'm dealing 100 amps. When I flip that on, everything's good. So you can see, I turn that off. The volts are going down on the meter slowly. Turn it back on, the volts are there. So I have my fans going right now. I have one right here. And then I have one blown air out on this bottom. Um, I have a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter and then this wire here is earth ground and then I made extra connectors where I could put it either in the ground or attach it to something in the house that is grounded. Um, very important to have these. Not a lot of people talk about earth grounds for your inverters but it is actually pretty important to have. So here's what I'm testing. I got a battery backup, this 10,000 milliamp battery backup, I wore down halfway. And so I'm testing the USB port of the solar charger, which I don't know if you can see, 
where we're running almost 5 volts, 0.7 amps. About right here, this states that I have about 6.5 amps coming in from the solar panels. Uh, I mean, you know, these things are only so accurate. Um, but right here, I got 13.1 volts going into the batteries. And let's see what this is. This is 7.3 amps, so close. Um, why this? Oh, well, I don't know. Um, so here's my meter. Uh, to run just the inverter, the 1000 watt inverter, I'm burning about 0.92 amps to run it. But it looks like I have good voltage, 12.77 voltage going to it.